Yep, we're done, Here folks. We Here we go. This is the end. There we are, and oh, there it oh is. My gosh. It just split in half. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're back in Tiny Sailor's World, and today we're taking a look at a brand new update that includes a new and updated ship. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we have the updated Majestic, and it looks fantastic. It's even got a ton of interior. So with these new ships, we're getting lots of interior, which I can really appreciate. Now I'm going to hand it over to Jake Hillen to tell us something a bit interesting about the Majestic. So yeah, Jake Hillen? Yeah, so I read it. it said that the Majestic was actually offered for sale to the United Kingdom in 1920 as reparations for the sinking of the Britannic when she sank in 1916. Wow, and look at that. There you are in the Britannic as well. So do you want to tell the audience a little bit of what we're going to be doing today? I suppose that we're going to be doing a bit of a ship battle. Yes, we are. Out some new ramming abilities, I guess you could say. So yeah, I want to thank my audience. All of you guys were awesome in letting me know about this cool feature that I didn't even know about. So basically, that new feature is is when you hit a ship dead center, it should split it in half and do a V break or something. So I'm really interested to check that out. I know Jake Killen is as well. But before we do any of that. We're going to take a look at the interiors on board the Majestic because I've taken a sneak peek and these are really impressive. All right, so here we are on board. You can see Jay Killen is right over there and this is really impressive. So you can see we've got a stage here. We've got some wonderful dome above. This is really amazing. Oh my gosh. Now it's not just this room. There's just entire spaces all around the ship that we will be checking out. So we do have a staircase over here, but I don't think we can use them. Yeah, unfortunately we cannot. I would imagine if we could, it would cause a lot of issues with our characters, which is fine. Again, it's a mini ship. It's not designed to be, you know, usable 100% in small mode. But wow. Oh, wow. I'm on the promenade now where the lifeboats are. Oh, that's cool. I'm in a restaurant right now. This is actually really interesting. Well, I think it's a restaurant. It looks really nice. It actually could be a library. I do see a lot of shelves. I don't know the interior at all of the Majestic. So this is really my first time seeing it. And wow, I am really impressed. Again, this is stunning. I just love that they're actually adding interiors to this. It is such a cool little thing to see in game. Oh my gosh, there are beams. They have put beams really? on this model. Oh, yeah, come I to see. the well deck. There's beams on this promenade area here. Really? Yeah. All right, so I've been able to jump up to this area, and now I'm on the uh, traditional promenade. So this is bridge. pretty cool. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh my gosh, um, giant Jay Killen has landed on the bow of the ship. Oh, stop, stop, no! It. The Majestic, it has no stability issues whatsoever. Okay, you know what, we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to end this. There we are. Oh no. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh. wow! Notice that the, the interior- pushed forward. Well, I think that's because we had forward motion. Yeah. But notice how the interior also breaks. So that'll be super cool oh, when yeah. we actually have that battle and one of us inevitably hits the other straight down the center. Um, so, mm -hmm. yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get the uh, Britannic out. And uh, I'll stay in the Majestic, of course. And we'll see how it goes. All right, so here we are and we are ready to go. So in three, two, one, let the battles begin. So Majestic versus the HMHS Britannic. So here we are. Uh-oh, there you are. Let's it's turn this thing around. Scene. My ship is uh, slowly but surely turning around, making my way towards you at a brisk 23 knots. So, yeah. Oh boy, um, this may not be so good. Ooh, um, we are just gonna pass each other here. So, uh, there we go. Well, that was a uh, miserable failure for you. So I'm going to throw my ship in reverse, and we're going to see if we can uh, get a success here. So here we go. Flip it in reverse, and here we go. This is it. You are done for, my friend. Uh, how fast are you going? 22 knots. Ah, okay. Uh, going 23. Come on. Come on. No! Oh my gosh. So close, yet so far. Well, eventually yep. you're going to have to come around, and that's going to slow you down quite a bit. This may be the end for you. Ooh, just barely. Oh, just barely. Look at that. That's got to be... Oh, what the heck? I'm getting damaged. Why? Um, there was a submarine. Really? Or a U-boat, I should say. I didn't I even like notice that. You. 
I'm gonna close my watertight doors. That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. Now you're gonna slow down. This could go down two ways. One way is I win. The other way is, oh, I'm gonna lose. Nope, I can't turn in time. Wow, look at that. Oh no, 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 no. This is not good. This is a very bad situation. Try to turn around. Go, go. Oh, I'm dead. I am so dead. So dead. I've got 71 health. This is really bad. This is a very bad I'm situation. My doors for uh, some more speed. Oh, not good. Not good. If I open up my watertight doors, I will sink instantly. I've got literally no health left. Yep, we're done, Here folks. We Here we go. This is the end. There we are, and oh, there it oh is. It just split in half. And look at that. The bow section is remaining afloat. That is very cool. Well then, congratulations, Jay Killen. You have won this uh, this battle here. So uh, there we are, sinking to the bottom. And there we are as a wreck. So that was very cool. But we'll do one more round, and we'll see if maybe I can get a shot on Jay Killen and see if I can split his ship in two. So yeah, let's go. All right, we are back. Let's go find him. And uh, actually, he's right there. So um. Why not just take him out while we have the opportunity? Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh, oh. That's not good. That was a U-boat. Um, okay, you know what we're gonna do? We are gonna activate our pumps, and we are gonna just uh, close our watertight doors. There is no opportunities for me to even catch up to you anymore. So I'm hoping that that U-boat does sink you. So um, there you are. Did you know that the Majestic was also called the Bismarck at one point? Uh, yeah, I actually read about that. It was... Uh, called the Bismarck, not the one that you know from uh, World War II, the warship from Germany, but uh, as I've said earlier, in 1920, they actually gave the, the Bismarck, which was what it was called at the time, to uh, Great Britain, and they renamed it to the Majestic, and it was for reparations for the sinking of the Britannic. Exactly. And now, as you can see, the Britannic lives on, and it is continuing on its way to success as it goes on there so uh yeah you mind turning on your lights there we are now i can see you better here we go here we go there it is there it is and um i'm dead i am uh i'm really badly damaged how is the britannic so strong uh the one answer i'll give is money i am actually pulling a britannic my propellers are like halfway out of the water. I'm done. Oh. Yep. Well, I'm going down at a very shallow um, angle here, as you can see. Oh my gosh, the lifeboats just floated up from the bottom. Well, it's been nice oh, knowing man, you. He's continuing to strike you. Yes, I know. I guess it's uh, revenge for sinking the uh, Britannic in World War One. Maybe. Well, there we are. Wow, I actually landed on my side. That is cool. So, uh, let's do this one more time. There is one ship that you cannot survive with. Do you know what that ship is? The SS United States? Close. The SS Gillette 3. Oh, no. Yes. The SS Gillette 3 makes a return. This time, it's coming after the Britannic. And if I'm remembering correctly, in one of my last videos, the SS Gillette 3 did destroy the Britannic quite violently as well so um oh yeah just a heads up i'm not even at top speed and i'm going 31 knots oh no yeah i would just get your nurses and patients to just jump overboard uh oh i see a bit of a uh mass on the horizon because i think your lights might be out uh oh yes they are there is the britannic right in front of us now, we want to split this thing in two, so, um, here we go. This is it. Will it work? Oh. Did I split you in two? Nope. Oh, I I'm sinking, though. Interesting. How could you do this to the Middle Eastern bean transport of the island of Kea from Greece? Well, there's a lot of factors to take into consideration with that one. But I can definitely tell you, this was a fun adventure for sure. We uh, sank the Britannic. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to split it in half, 
but the Britannic got to split us in half, and that was super cool. So yeah, definitely check out this update, check out the updated ship, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye!